Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40k in Crystal Tomato in the full release in the 1.0.0 version and we do not have any beta or alpha build symbol up here. And this is actually, there has already been one video of the full release, but this is the first episode of technically season 2. I just brand the pre-release thing just you know season one this is going to be season two let's see how long we are going to play this game i plan to play it longer than i usually play games so i do not know whether there are going to be another 500 episodes i do not know that but there are going to be plenty i think but no more talking let's hop into the forbidden cult campaign mission Another wave of filth is on its way to face me in a glorious carnage. I want your help as soon as possible. Careful, Thor. <laughs> that was dangerously close to insolence. You are definitely confusing me with someone else. You are an Inquisitor, which is enough for me right now. The whole deck is swarming with the local mongrel tribes, and they've sent their champions to rally the troops. I need you to eliminate... So you're heading to the control room to disable the jammer? That's the plan, yes. And who is this Caius Thorn exactly? Quite a character. Otherwise I have no idea. He seems to think that I am a member of his mysterious expedition. If there is an expedition, they might be trapped in that monastery just like you. Why do you think so? I made a scan. That giant wreckage looks completely dead from here. No sign of any other voidcraft in the vicinity. Hmm, that's of course a little weird, but I do not care. Do you know what I only care about? Killing all the enemies available right here. I, of course, spawned the Tarantula there in the baddest point available. Right into the mist there, which, as you might know, is doing you know quite the damage so not the best spots there of all but anyhow at least Looting. we used the spell tribal champion i wonder if these mongrel tribes are the descendants of the original inhabitants i guess i'll know more soon so let's take a look at this cogitator here some clue auto cryptothesicon transcript i like those weird tech thingies um absolutely amazing regio caligari sector segmentum tempestus destination colony core scintilla oh my god all these names that are going to be really really hard for me telepathic duct trans imperial um, relay omega 10 sorry for that i'm going to skip that descriptive message this is the Thrice blessed fortress monastery martyr category A3 research vessel of the holy orders under the leadership of Lord Inquisit Inquisitor Yutha Tiberius. We seek aid from the brothers and sisters of the Adeptus Mechanicus. The martyr is on a highly important research pilgrimage from the Segmentum Pacificus to the Sigil subsector en route to the Caligari sector, the mother was caught in a surf warp anomaly and the Jella shield suffered considerably damage. We need an emergency overhaul in the orbital tridox of Koshi Prime as soon as possible. May the Emperor be with you. And that's the end. Is he saying anything? But at least we have a new clue and you know what let's go up and see whether we are going to find the way to our next target as you may know as you probably know the first couple of missions are actually quite I th at least it's always a, a on a opinion opinion thing of course but I find the first missions really really easy so keep in mind that are just the first missions and especially when a time where you if you progress in the game they are of course going to be a little bit more difficult than they are right now so that just as a 
a little disclaimer right here. Second target down. How are you faring, Inquisitor? Considering that I'm alone, I'd say that I'm making adequate progress. Alone? Where's the rest of your detachment? Under some smoldering wreckage. Well, that's unlucky. But that's all the more demons for us to kill. Let us rejoice in the furious challenge. Thorn out. That is always, I think, is absolutely amazing. In there are really people like that. The with all the possi um, positivity. Yes, I lost my con my guys, which are with me, and he's just answering. Come on, that's great. Just more guys to kill for us. <laughs> absolutely, I like that. I really like that. Always makes me smile and my heart warm actually that sounded I think a little bit weird but anyhow I'm just a weirdo get used to that so I would like to do on the one hand that putting in the little tarantula because it is of course helping out a lot Room cleared out as well. The filth of chaos has retreated from my door. Regrouping, I'd say. I take it you killed the tribal champions. Yes, I purged the place. How ambitious. I like that. But believe me, there is still much work to be done. You'll find a desecrated shrine next door that leads to the control room. Go there. Recall oh yeah. Name. I will of course do that and I'm I can only say that makes so much fun to finally play that game it always makes you a little bit of non-objective if you play a game for so long and are actually waiting for the full release but I think I've talked about that before but right now I'm actually absolutely pumped to Lord, go on I've reached the end of this sub deck good there is the exit some of my men will meet you on the other side, but plenty of them have been captured. I'll need your help to set them free. Will do. We will try that. And anyhow, norm normally I would end this episode right here, but we will do another one because I just want to go on and the episode only would be eight minutes long or something like that. That is never good. Episode mission for sorry not episode so that should be a smaller upgrade taking it and going into the feral tribes mission wait a second all right that's only indicating that we have some unspent skills let's see the heretics have rift drawn but more on the way i need reinforcements i know that some of the soldiers from the expedition are alive but the feral tribe is keeping is them captive before the storm Take advantage of the respite before the wretches return. At least I can send you some reinforcements. The hostiles are keeping some of my scouts caged up in the desecrated sanctum. Free the guardsmen and bring them to the control room. Will do. Will do, will do, will do. Let us try that out. But as I'm used to this mission, I... Okay, what's coming? I'm entering the sanctum of the deck. It clearly used to be an imperial chapel, but the statues there are not familiar. When did this sacred fortress drift away from the light of the God Emperor? Fun fact, I just want to say, I remember this mission, but then in the end I was like, what the hell is that cutscene about? <laughs> so, don't remember too, too much, I guess, although I'm playing this mission I think for the fourth or fifth time right now so not in the current version of course that is absolutely new but before since the first campaign mission beta or alpha release personal log by archivist Anslam the Arriro oh my god those names First analysis, I need to modify my early estimate of the age of this magnificent ship, the pre throyan symbols and the content of the prayer book indicates ancient heritage sometime between the 35th and 36th 
millennium, the potential connection to the age of apostasy indicates fascinating prospects. I must admit that some of our discoveries are unique, almost radical in nature, especially the pieces directly connected to Eutha Tiberius and his sect. The adornments and other elements are clearly imperial in origin origin on the ship, but the details, like the ringed statues, all suggest a cult that used to be imperial, but which has been lost and subsequently purged from the archives. Personal notes, the techno archaeologist was baffled by the first radium carbon results. This may be rather bold, a rather bold statement since he lacks facial features, <laughs> emotions and soul, but he looked almost shocked. Damn his inconclusive results, he tried to argue about the age of the Emperor Forsaken dialect, but I am certain about my analysis and a bit troubled. The mural about the mural about the Scarlet Apotheosis and the Imperial Beyond was unsettling to say the least, the angel of death growing more grim with each passing hour. May the Emperor have mercy upon our souls. Alright, that's I guess Inquisitor Klosterheim personal archive. At your command. Fair enough and good to know that is all I can say right here. Quickly killing them off. I do hope we are not going to lose too too many of our guardsmen. As usual, you can't control it, of course. You can't If they die it doesn't matter because this mission the first five minute missions are actually, as you see, really, really easy and not uh, that much of a problem. But I would like. Don't have much time, Inquisitor. Hurry up and take as many guardsmen with you as you can. As I wanted to say, I want to try to keep as many of them alive, the just for so, just for good sports. You know, you of course need to be careful that they are not getting closer. If they get too close, they are of course taken down by the close combat of the Reborn Marauder, which is not a good thing as well. So there would have been some inoculators, but nothing I nothing worth. I was hoping for a little chest, but nothing. Oh man, these figures are just, you know, doing so much atmospheric thing effects, all the skulls. I love it. I just can always say I love this game. Still, I think what I already said in the last builds, I would have enjoyed if they would have kept the game darker than it is right now. But you can't have everything I guess still I think this is an amazing game Is he out of breath? <laughs> I do not know. Let's take a quick look at the clue here. I fought my way to the control room. Alright, that we already had. Off the hangar deck and met Chaos Thorn, a Stormwatcher Space Marine. The preparations of the imminent siege of the control room prevented us from discussing important matters, but Thorn was surprised to learn that I was not part of the same armed force that landed on the murder under the leadership of Lord Inquisitor Klosterheim and his Inquisitors. The, their presence here raises some serious questions. Some clues I found led me to the following conclusions. Recently, a sizable imperial expedition landed on the fortress monastery led by a certain Lord Inquisitor Klosterheim. The purpose and the current whereabouts of these explorers are still unknown, although judging by the large number of casualties they have suffered, I assume that the expedition must have 
had considered considerable numbers, Lord Inquisitor Klosterheim had inquisitors and interrogators in his retinue, also some specimens from the Stormwatcher chapter. I find it troubling that the Caligari Conclave neglected to reveal the existence of this expedition to me. Oh yeah, I would say that too. No summaries here, but that is fair enough. I found fresh corpses, okay, that we already had. Then on we go to the next circle up ahead no problem at whole at whole at all i hope but as i said before the first couple of missions are really not the hardest part of the game but i think for first timers they are a good thing to actually get into the game and how to play it that is actually good if i remember the beginning of the game i began playing this game in an alpha version at the beginning january 2017 so nearly one and a half years ago and there you didn't have any tutorials so the game made some steps ahead inquisitor our augers are starting to pick up huge waves of hostiles approaching your position can you hold them off on your own captain a long time ago, I made an oath to protect the Imperium, with no regard for my own life. Do you want to question my dedication? So what is your plan? My faith in the Emperor will protect me from the Faithless. I was also planning to blast through the Unclean with the devastating force of my weaponry. I'll have the transport ship ready, just in case. Okay, that then... Well, oh my god, doesn't that look amazing? Sorry, I even like the artworks. <laughs> and they are mostly new as well. So, a new armor, a signum, that is nice content, content that is nice to found. The clues I found led me to the following conclusions. Recently, a sizable Imperial acquisition that we just had read out. I don't care about that but we have a new armor which is a upgrade i'll take it a signum which i take as well and a new eye eye implant which is a upgrade as well and first of all i was thinking well why don't we just stop this episode but let's play the fifth mission here and then we are off this over you let's get into it All right, no breathing, but we need to join. Ah, okay, I remember, of course, the breathing is just up ahead right now. Welcome to the Martyr, Inquisitor. Not exactly the army I had imagined, but reinforcements at last. So you do realize now that I don't belong to your expedition? I do, and I regret the confusion. We were not expecting any guests on this Emperor Forsaken Wreck. And first I thought that you must belong to Klosterheim's retinue. That fool brought a whole army of busybodies and interrogators with him. You must tell me everything about this man, his expedition, and the martyr. But first I'll disable the teleport jammer. The cogitator that overrides the jammer is two hallways away and the whole control deck is swarming with feral tribes. Why do you think I'm stuck in this hole? They're keeping us pinned down in here. Time to turn the tide together, Sergeant. Ready oh yeah! Then we will do, I first of all, still going to get in there and read Let's some... Let's take a look at this cogitator. Alright, system failure analysis, a humble tract on the violent changes in the behavior of the machine spirit locked by engine engine seer theta x y 22 b lucan operator confessor to the great machine spirit of the martyr i'm not the going through the we have a problem now is not a good time bionic court summary after the rites of diagnostics and reciting the necessary hymns to placate its mood I pray to the machine spirit and humbly ask it to confide in me about the causes of the 
reoccurring system failures. With my automatic defense systems of the Mato destroyed the, their rogue traitor cruiser and why the Mato initiated conflicts with a non-hostile vessel of an explorator fleet. Thus, you know, all the corrupted data I just left out, of course, because I do, you yeah. know. AI. The machine spirit of the Mado denies corporations, citing the Sacred Order 947.A as issued by our spiritual spiritual leader, the later Uther Tiberius Addendum. No executable directive exists under this name. Alright. The machine spirit claims that the Mado must follow a determined route to a cl classified location and that the protection of the Mado is top priority and it asserts its rights to override the, the of the martyr automated weapon systems and the teleportarium in times of need assessment possible warp infestation of the machine spirit that's what i thought in the beginning invoking the conclave of the imminent Imminent system purge warning search data banks content missing these records are disturbing this martyr has a mind of its own ready to fight and now I will put in some mines and this time I'm going to put them right here. The other times in the Alpha battle I always put them on this first size on the front on right here which makes no sense because we already have guardsmen right there. And that is amazing that now finally the little interrogated some of these tribesmen they are all descendants of the original crew anyway during centuries of drifting through the void one of their generations forgot about our holy emperor and found new things to worship and what would this god be madness incarnated they call it it could be anything if you ask me but nothing good all right that of course is the usual thing i forgot the plot i forgot what i wanted to say but i think that is ah yes i wanted to say gladly the wave counter there is finally working out i was that didn't work out in the alpha and i think it didn't work out in the better version as well so always a nice thing if those things work out. I'm in the middle of something later. And oh boy, I remember what's going to happen. Or at least why she is actually always calling him out. Reloading. What I want to go into, I don't even know whether that may may have been postponed for future releases, but there is going to be a painter, so you can personalize your items. So that would be nice to use at one point as well. Okay, there's another rebound the water coming on but that was nearly too easy oh the thundering blast of weapons i wish my brothers were here to hear this canticle of death talking about brothers which chapter do you belong to i'm not familiar with this iconography i am sergeant chaos thorn of the Stormwatcher space marines explain i don't know that chapter I would be truly disappointed if you did. Our existence is secret, our numbers are few, and our burden is terrible. We are the Watchers in the shadows, but rest assured, we are the sanctioned blades of the Calgary Conclave. Doing what, exactly? Dying gloriously during classified inquisitorial missions. Could we talk about this later? And we will and we will know a tarantula i'm going ah, okay it's switching around one is going to go down there one is going to down here and the minefield i will keep in my backhand maybe we need it at a other point i don't think so but guys you never know 
these things sometimes they can escalate. She should have just talked to him and told him about what is going to happen because that is something which of course ain't really nice and could be a little bit dangerous so sometimes you just have to say things even if your superior person tells you otherwise otherwise things like the sinking of the titanic is of course going to happen again and again did there somebody say anything i don't even know forget that i didn't say anything so let's actually help him out we know what is going to happen to him as well but i can clearly say it's not going to happen right now I thought I would have killed the other guy off as well, but anyhow, I am sometimes quite often wrong, but that's fair enough to me. That should be the last wave. And now I can deactivate. You are truly doing the Emperor's work, Inquisitor. Keep it up. We've crushed their main forces. Let's move out and disable that jammer. Before oh yeah. Their, what, their god arrives? Trust me, it is already close. I wonder what it looks like. After we have disabled the jammer, we must find Lord Klosterheim. Oh yes, that two-faced hypocrite. I have already lost a battle brother because of him, and then he left me down here to die. But now, move! And I have a feeling that something cool is going to come up right here. Oh, traitorous scum! Mockery to your honor! Perish, you filth! I had a small hope that we can still can save him, but obviously we can't. What's happening down there? Are you all right? I'm great. I've just killed a hell brute, a twisted mockery of a space marine. Praise the Emperor. I also have an Imperial Space Marine with grievous wounds, and I want to bring him aboard our ship. Inquisitor, listen to me. The Monastery has turned on the warp drives and is ready to leave the star system. Disable the jammer now. Yes, I will. I will. I will. Any second, let's take a look at the cogitator. I've disabled the teleport jammer. At least I hope so. Inquisitor, you must teleport back before the ship leaves. We don't know where it's headed, and worse, the jelly shields are probably compromised. Warp travel will kill you. Hurry up, you don't want to get stranded over there. No, of course not. Sadly, they don't teleport the Imperial Guardsmen out. That would have been oh so amazing, anyhow. Inquisitor, are you all right? I'm fine, Captain. I'm back on your ship, leaving the teleportarium as we speak. I need medical assistance down here for the Space Marine. What is happening to the Martyr? It's preparing to enter the warp. I thought it was a derelict. It is a derelict, Captain. Which seems to attract the attention of both our allies and enemies. The martyr is a mystery, but it is very much alive. And your mystery ship is gone. What happens now? I will notify the Caligari Conclave. Then we will wait and see. And gone she is. And we are going to take a look at our little rewards. Come on, load up game. I want to see what we have received, how much we can progress our little character. And we are exiting. That is what I do not know right now. Okay, we can at least take a look at the clue. The clues have discovered 
<laughs> sorry, I have discovered indicate that the machine spirit of the model, which inhabits the fortress monastery and controls all systems and machinery on the decks, has probably gone mad, possibly during a warp incident and it has been displaying paranoid tendencies for a long time now. It looked down the martyr completely and trying to destroy a approaching vessel to protect itself for unclear reasons. That little function I do not like here, that... We have found a bug. Um, yes, we can't get out, guys. That is not really cool. Let us at least take a look at... Alright, guys, as you can see, I can't do anything. I do not know why. But I can't do anything. So, this is the end of this episode. If we, we can go through our items in the next episode. That's actually too bad. I really wanted to go through the items. Anyhow, guys, for now, I really thank you for watching. This episode, I know, has been um, double the time as a usual episode always have been. But the next one, I guess, I hope, is going to be... Um, a little not as long as this one but for now thank you for watching if you enjoyed this episode then please give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed guys why don't you just subscribe and i will see you in the next episode until then have a nice day stay frosty bye